Good morning.
How can you and I, despite being weighed down by daily life, how can we stay awake for these upcoming 40 days? How will we stay awake for our Lenten journey? God says, all you have to do is listen. Listen. Listen, God says, this is my son, my chosen. Listen to him. Listen. I really mean it right here and right now. I want you to listen. I was going to talk about listening, and I threw out that sermon because it was so boring. I realized what we need to do is experience listening. So even though this sermon is about being awake, I want you to close your eyes and be still. Do you hear that water flowing? Do you hear that water flowing? That's the sound of God washing away your sin. That's what the glory of the Lord sounds like. I wish I could dunk you all. But for now, wake up, people. <laughs> Do you feel that water? I wish that font was big enough for all of us. Do you feel the water hitting your head, falling down your cheeks? That's what it feels like to be a child of God. to be loved and accepted just for who you are. That's what the glory of the Lord feels like. Stop and listen again. Can you hear your heart beating? Can you feel your breath? That's the Holy Spirit at work and alive in you. That's what the glory of the Lord feels like. Open your eyes if you have them on any. Turn to your neighbor. Take his or her hand. Look him or her in the eye and say, Peace be with you. and all 
altar in the world, people encountered the holiness of God under shady oak trees, <laughs> on riverbanks, at the tops of mountains, and in long stretches of barren wilderness. God shows up in whirlwinds, starry skies, burning bushes, and perfect strangers. When people want to know more about God, the Son of God tells them to pay attention. Pay attention to the lilies of the field and to the birds of the air, to women eating bread and workers lining up for their pay. Whoever wrote this stuff believed that people could learn as much about the ways of God from paying attention to the world as they could from paying attention to Scripture. What is true is what happens, even if what happens is not always right. People can learn as much about the ways of God from business deals on men or sparrows falling to the ground as they can from reciting the books of the Bible in order. They can learn as much from a love affair or a wildflower as they can from not only taking care of this by heart. On this Transfiguration Sunday, what I find most bedazzling is that the disciples who were weighed down with sleep managed to stay awake. And in doing so, they saw the glory of the Lord. This Lent, throughout these 40 days, let's say yes to God's invitation. Let's say yes to God's invitation to listen, to stay awake, to pay attention, and to be intentional that you and I might also experience the glory of our Lord. Let us pray. Awaken us, God of glory. Awaken us in the fall of the snow, the drop of the rain, and the crush of the rolling thunder. Awaken us in the song of the bird, the laugh of the child, the gentle hug from another. Awaken us in the flick of the fish, the leap of the fox, the lean of the weeping willow. Awaken us in the sift of the breeze, the lift of the hymn, the gift of a bed and a pillow. Awaken in us the peel of the bell, the coffee smell, the feel of running water. Awaken us in the starlight gleam, the hot meal steam, the flash of the dying light. Awaken us in the eagle's flight, the mountain's height, the joy of a talk with a friend. Awaken us in early morning calm, the medicine's balm, the quiet of evening's end. Awaken us in the sip of wine, the warm sunshine, the color of leaves in autumn. Awaken us in the caring word, the truth that's heard, the fragrance of spreading blossoms. Awaken us far. Awaken us near. Awaken us with your story. <coughs> Awaken us from where we have come to be here. Awaken to all of your life.